first set the reading of the disk to a, to an exact whole number and then you want to like check the decimal places so this is called the drum and this is called the vernier scale so to check the drum reading you look at the first digit that comes that comes before the vernier scale begins so this is the beginning of the vernier scale and this is the first first digit and this this is the first digit which is 1 before the vernier scale so the current reading is 4 because the, uh, the reading on the disk was 4 point 1 and the second decimal place will be the first coinciding division from the drum scale with the vernier scale so suppose that coinciding division is 5 so the fifth division is coinciding which means the reading is 4.15 so that's your initial reading to start with so for regular figure place the uh, tip of this on on the vertex and then after that you rotate this clockwise along the boundary rotate it such that it reaches the same place where you started from in the beginning so when once you've done that you want to take the reading which is the final reading so you look at the disk again the disk reading is still 4 because it hasn't crossed 5 which means the reading is 4 point something so the first digit on the drum scale before the vernier scale begins is 0 is 6 it's not, 6 it's, it's not six. clear it's not clear yeah okay that is 6 so it's 4.6 something and the first coinciding division is say 6 like it's unclear on the so let's assume it's 6 so it's 4.66 is the final reading now what the difference between the final re reading and the initial reading is your answer and multiply that by 100 you will get uh, your area but Uh, like because the reading was between 4. like 16 and 4.66 the number of revolutions is zero if it was 4.15 and 5.15 then the number of revolution will be counted as one 